when Billy noticed that his dog was reluctant to give birth. Panic surged through him like a tidal wave. He wasted no time and dialed the number of the local veterinarian. Hoping for a quick solution to the unexpected problem. As he rushed his beloved dog to the veterinary clinic. Billy's mind buzzed with worry. What could be causing this unusual behavior? Had he missed any signs of distress during the pregnancy? The questions raced through his mind. Each one more unsettling than the last. Upon arrival. The veterinarian's perplexed expression mirrored Billy's own confusion. Neither of them had encountered such a situation before. And the uncertainty hung heavy in the air like a thick fog. While the veterinarian examined the dog. Billy's anxiety reached a fever pitch. The silence in the examination room was deafening. Broken only by the muffled sound of his own heartbeat. When the vet finally emerged from the examination room. Billy braced himself for the worst. The news was grim, his dog needed immediate surgery. And even then. There were no guarantees of a successful outcome. With a sinking feeling in his chest. Billy watched as the vet and his team sprang into action. Preparing for the life-saving procedure. The urgency of the situation was palpable. And Billy could do nothing but wait. His heart in his throat. Minutes felt like hours as Billy paced the waiting room. His mind swirling with fear and uncertainty. The sound of his own ragged breaths echoed in the empty space. Each one a testament to his mounting anxiety. Finally. The vet emerged from the surgery room. His expression grave but determined. Billy held his breath as he waited for the verdict. His entire world hanging in the balance. To his immense relief. The surgery had been successful. His dog was stable. For now. But the road to recovery would be long and uncertain. As Billy absorbed the news. Gratitude flooded through him like a warm ray of sunlight breaking through storm clouds. But amidst the relief. A nagging question lingered in the back of Billy's mind, what had caused his dog's distress in the first place? Was it simply a complication of pregnancy? Or was there something more sinister at play? When he pondered these questions, Billy's thoughts turned to his family waiting at home. The loss of their beloved pet Rio still cast a shadow over their lives. And now, faced with yet another crisis, they would need to lean on each other more than ever before. As the Anderson family mourned the loss of their dear pet Rio, the once vibrant atmosphere in their home now felt hollow and subdued. Their hearts ached with the absence of their beloved companion, and the emptiness seemed to linger in every corner of the house. But amidst the palpable sadness, a glimmer of hope flickered in their hearts, a shared understanding that they couldn't remain mired in grief forever. They needed to fill the void left by Rio's departure. To bring light back into their lives once more. And so. With determination fueled by love and longing. They made a unanimous decision. They would welcome another furry friend into their home. The prospect of adopting a new dog became a beacon of hope. A chance to heal the wounds left by Rio's absence. However. As they embarked on the journey to find their new canine companion. The Andersons encountered their first hurdle. Choosing the right breed. After much deliberation and heartfelt discussions, they settled on a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. A choice influenced by their fond memories of Rio, who had also been a terrier. Navigating the unfamiliar terrain of dog breeding, the Andersons turned to the vast expanse of the internet in search of their newest family member. Their quest led them to a small animal shelter nestled on the side of the road. Its humble facade belying the potential for serendipity that awaited within. Erica's eyes sparkled with excitement as she urged Billy to stop and explore the shelter. Her intuition whispering that they would find exactly what they were looking for within its walls. And so. With a mixture of anticipation and trepidation. The young family ventured inside. Their expectations tempered by the shelter's modest size. The Andersons were pleasantly surprised to find themselves drawn to one particular puppy, a tiny bundle of fur with soulful eyes and a playful demeanor. Despite the lack of identifying information, they knew in their hearts that this puppy was meant to be theirs. 
as they eagerly completed the necessary paperwork. Tim's infectious laughter filled the room. A joyful reminder of the new beginnings that awaited them. With each stroke of the pen, they solidified their commitment to their newest family member. Their hearts brimming with anticipation for the adventures that lay ahead. But as time passed, their hopes of expanding their furry family were met with disappointment. Despite their best efforts, their dog remained unable to conceive, leaving the Andersons feeling disheartened and adrift once more. Desperate for a solution, Billy turned to an old friend for help, a decision that would ultimately lead to unforeseen complications and heartache. Little did he know that this choice would set off a chain of events that would test their resolve and challenge their understanding of trust and betrayal. When they sat in the crowded waiting room of the veterinary clinic, the Andersons' collective anxiety mounted with each passing minute. Little did they know that the journey ahead would be fraught with uncertainty, testing the limits of their courage and resilience. As the realization dawned on the receptionist, she wasted no time in taking action. With a sense of urgency, she dialed the veterinarian's number. Her fingers trembling with the weight of the situation, the gravity of the moment hung heavy in the air as she relayed the urgent news to the vet. Her voice tinged with concern. Upon receiving the distress call, the veterinarian immediately sprung into action. Recognizing the severity of the situation, with a sense of purpose, he swiftly rearranged his schedule, prioritizing Billy's appointment above all else. Every passing second felt like an eternity as he made his way to the waiting room his mind racing with apprehension. When he stepped into the bustling waiting room, the vet's gaze fell upon Billy and Alicia, his heart heavy with the knowledge of what lay ahead. Despite the turmoil swirling within him, he offered them a reassuring smile, a silent promise that he would do everything in his power to help. With a gentle yet resolute demeanor, the vet assured Billy that they would get to the bottom of Alicia's condition, his words were a balm to Billy's frayed nerves, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the uncertainty that loomed overhead. However, as the ultrasound commenced, the atmosphere in the room shifted palpably. A sense of foreboding descended upon them like a heavy shroud, casting a shadow over their hopes and dreams. The vet's once optimistic tone wavered. His expression clouded with concern as he scrutinized the images before him. Billy's heart sank as he observed the subtle change in the vet's demeanor. A sinking feeling settling in the pit of his stomach. Though he longed to voice his fears, a sense of apprehension held him back. Fearing that his inquiries might only serve to distract the vet from his crucial task. In hindsight, Billy couldn't help but lament his hesitance. Wishing he had voiced his concerns sooner. Each passing moment felt like an eternity as he anxiously awaited the vet's diagnosis. His mind awash with a whirlwind of emotions. With a sense of urgency, the vet swiftly ushered Alicia into his office. His movements purposeful and determined, as Billy and his family watched on with bated breath. The gravity of the situation began to dawn on them, sending a shiver down their spines. Their worst fears were confirmed when the vet emerged from his office. His expression grave and solemn. With a heavy heart. He delivered the devastating news that Alicia's condition was far more dire than they had anticipated. In a daze of disbelief. Billy and Erica struggled to comprehend the gravity of the situation. Their minds reeling with shock and confusion. Tim's anguished cries filled the air. A poignant reminder of the deep bond they shared with their beloved pet. Amidst the chaos and confusion, the police arrived on the scene, their presence casting a pall over the already somber atmosphere. With a sense of trepidation, Billy braced himself for the barrage of questions that were sure to follow, his mind racing with uncertainty. While the interrogation commenced, Billy found himself thrust into the spotlight his every word scrutinized under the harsh glare of suspicion. Though he had nothing to hide, a sense of unease gnawed at him, his thoughts consumed by a maelstrom of doubt and uncertainty. With each passing question, Billy's anxiety mounted.
the weight of the situation pressing down upon him like a suffocating blanket. Though he longed for clarity and closure. The answers remained elusive, shrouded in a veil of uncertainty. In a startling turn of events, the police produced a series of mug shots. Their implications sending a chill down Billy's spine. Amongst the familiar faces, one stood out in particular, a haunting reminder of the sinister forces at play. As the pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place, Billy's mind raced with a flurry of unanswered questions. What dark secrets lay hidden beneath the surface? Waiting to be unearthed. And what role did Alicia play in this tangled web of deceit and betrayal? With a sense of trepidation, Billy and the police rushed to the surgery room. Their hearts pounding with anticipation. As they entered the room, they were met with a scene of chaos and confusion. The air thick with tension and apprehension. Their eyes widened in disbelief as they beheld the shocking sight before them, a medical chip embedded within Alicia's belly. A sinister reminder of the deception that had ensnared them. With a sinking feeling in his heart, Billy realized the true extent of the danger they faced. In that moment, the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, revealing the sinister truth that had eluded them for so long. The vet's grim expression spoke volumes, his eyes haunted by the horrors he had witnessed. With a heavy heart, Billy made a solemn vow to protect his beloved Alicia at all costs. Come what may, though the road ahead was fraught with uncertainty, he drew strength from the unwavering bond they shared. A beacon of hope amidst the darkness that threatened to consume them. And so, as they emerged from the depths of despair, Billy and his family embarked on a journey of healing and redemption. Their spirits unbroken by the trials that lay ahead. Though the road ahead would be fraught with challenges, they faced the future with courage and resilience. United in their determination to overcome adversity and forge a brighter tomorrow. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there is an another story about police dog. Let's expect what will happen. The peaceful. Rural village nestled in the heart of Central America had never before witnessed the overwhelming influx of law enforcement that it saw on this particular day. The catalyst for this unprecedented police activity was none other than Xena. A former police canine, whose incessant barking at an unassuming tree had sparked a series of events that no one could have anticipated. It was only when her owner, driven by curiosity and concern, managed to pry open the tree that the gravity of Zena's discovery came to light. Alarmed by what he found, he wasted no time in alerting the authorities, leading to a swift and substantial police response. As the first officer arrived on the scene, the reality of what lay hidden within the tree struck him with disbelief. It was a moment of revelation that underscored the unpredictable nature of their work. Where the extraordinary could lie hidden in the most ordinary of places. The collective intuition of the police force had always hinted at the inevitability of a significant event disrupting the tranquility of their jurisdiction. Yet the actuality of finding something concealed within a tree was beyond their wildest conjectures. Within a mere 30 minutes, the scene was bustling with activity as at least 20 officers converged determined to uncover the full extent of the situation. Accompanying them were two forensic experts, tasked with conducting a thorough investigation of the tree's contents. Their presence underscored the seriousness with which the discovery was being treated. As they set about piecing together the clues in search of answers, amidst the unsettling nature of their findings, it was the presence of a uniform among the contents that particularly heightened the tension hinting at a narrative that was as perplexing as it was alarming. The question that loomed large in everyone's mind was why Zena, the former police dog, had been so persistently barking at the tree. What had she sensed or detected that had elicited such a strong reaction from her? And why had this discovery necessitated such a large-scale response from the police force? John, Zena's owner, found himself caught up in a whirlwind of emotions as he tried to make sense of the situation. The sudden and uncharacteristic behavior of Zena, who had bolted into the forest during their walk, had taken him by surprise. 
His concern grew as he considered Xena's background as a police dog. Trained to detect and alert to specific stimuli. The realization that Xena might have stumbled upon something sinister filled him with apprehension. When John finally caught up with Xena, he found her fixated on a peculiar tree, slightly isolated from the forest's edge. Her unwavering attention to the tree, coupled with her relentless barking, hinted at something far more significant than a mere distraction by wildlife. It was clear that Xena's training had kicked in, guiding her actions and pointing towards a discovery that would soon reveal itself to be of grave importance. As John delved deeper into the mystery, the initial calm that had washed over him upon finding Xena quickly dissipated, giving way to a growing realization of the unfolding drama that lay ahead. John had never seen Xena, his dog, so full of energy and spirit. But what was it that had her so riled up? John pondered as he inspected the tree that Xena seemed fixated on. Yet, to his bewilderment, he could find nothing visibly wrong with it. The tree appeared seemingly dead, with no signs of life evident. But this fact alone did not immediately raise any red flags for John. Despite his initial inclination to simply leash Xena and head back home, John couldn't shake the feeling of curiosity that gripped him. The tree, weathered and ancient, held an air of mystery that intrigued him. Its sparse foliage and hollow sound when knocked upon hinted at a hidden secret within. Could Xena's agitation be justified? John couldn't help but wonder. Realizing that he couldn't investigate further with his bare hands, John spotted a small house in the distance. Leaving Xena tied to a nearby tree. He hurried to the house. Where he managed to borrow an axe from the owner without needing to divulge too much information. Returning to the tree. John found Xena still barking fervently at it. Her determination unwavering. With determination of his own. John began hacking away at the tree. Each swing of the axe brought him closer to uncovering the truth hidden within. And then. With a few well-placed hits. John's efforts were rewarded as the bark gave way to reveal something unexpected. To his shock and disbelief. John's axe had landed in something soft within the tree. With caution and trepidation. He widened the hole he had created. Revealing the startling truth concealed within the ancient trunk. Xena's barking reached a fever pitch as John made the shocking discovery. Causing him to drop the axe in sheer astonishment. Realizing the gravity of what he had stumbled upon. John wasted no time in contacting the authorities. The urgency in his voice conveyed the seriousness of the situation. Prompting the police to respond swiftly. Initially skeptical of John's claims. The responding officer couldn't ignore the urgency in his tone. As backup arrived and the area was secured. The true extent of the discovery began to unfold. Xena. Now silent but watchful. Remained fixated on the find. Her instincts as a former police dog guiding her actions. As the investigation progressed. Xena's keen sense of smell led her to a crucial clue. A dirt spot marked with tire tracks. With everyone's attention now focused on the scene. The forensic experts worked tirelessly to unravel the mystery concealed within the earth. In the end, their findings yielded both relief and concern. While one aspect of the discovery provided reassurance, the other raised troubling questions that demanded answers. With Xena's unwavering loyalty and Oliver's expertise, they were determined to get to the bottom of the mystery. No matter where it led them, the initial shock came swiftly. What appeared at first to be a motionless figure concealed within the gnarled trunk of the tree turned out to be something far more peculiar, a remarkably lifelike doll. Crafted with painstaking attention to detail. It bore an uncanny resemblance to a human form. But what truly unsettled the investigators was the discovery that the doll was clad in an authentic police uniform. Complete with meticulously embroidered insignia and badges. Upon closer examination. The forensic experts were able to ascertain that the uniform belonged to none other than Corporal Mike. A revered member of the local police force.
Mike's sudden departure from the department had raised eyebrows among his colleagues. But his subsequent disappearance had sent shockwaves throughout the community. As details of Mike's abrupt exit from the force began to surface, it became apparent that his departure was shrouded in controversy. Accused of unauthorized access to confidential documents, Mike had vanished without a trace leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and speculation. Despite initial efforts to locate Mike, including discreet searches and inquiries, no substantial leads had emerged. The case had eventually grown cold, relegated to the annals of unsolved mysteries as other investigations took precedence. For Jerry, the first officer on the scene, Mike's disappearance weighed heavily on his conscience. Driven by a sense of responsibility and a personal connection to Mike, Jerry sought permission to lead the investigation himself. However, his request was met with resistance from the higher-ups, who insisted on involving an external department to avoid potential conflicts of interest. Undeterred by the official roadblocks, Jerry resolved to pursue his own investigation, fueled by a determination to uncover the truth behind Mike's disappearance. Over the ensuing days, he meticulously gathered evidence, focusing on the lifelike doll and Mike's missing police attire, despite uncovering traces of DNA and fingerprints, including those of an unidentified individual. Jerry's inquiries yielded little actionable information. Most witnesses in the area were unable to provide any significant insights, save for John and the homeowner who had loaned him the axe. The homeowner's proximity to the tree gave him a unique vantage point. Though he had not witnessed any suspicious activity firsthand. Nevertheless, his account provided a valuable perspective, hinting at the possibility of clandestine activities under the cover of darkness. When Jerry delved deeper into the investigation, he remained steadfast in his resolve to unravel the mystery of Mike's disappearance. Regardless of the obstacles in his path, with each new revelation. The truth seemed tantalizingly close, yet frustratingly out of reach. But Jerry refused to relent. Driven by an unwavering commitment to justice for his missing colleague, one day, a peculiar incident caught the attention of a local resident when a car sped past his house at an unusual speed. The vehicle emerged from the direction of a large tree, a route that seemed impossible as it was essentially a dead end. The occurrence was odd, particularly because of the time of day it happened. The resident, unable to catch a glimpse of the license plate, could nevertheless identify the make and model of the car, a red Dodge SUV Hellcat. This was not a vehicle one could easily overlook. And certainly not Jerry, who had a vivid memory of seeing this particular car. It was the same vehicle Mike, a former colleague used to drive to work. The investigation into the mysterious car and its appearances had reached a standstill, leaving the police baffled. In a bid to advance the investigation, Jerry issued a search warrant for Mike's car, though with little optimism about the outcome. However, the unexpected occurred just a week later when Jerry received a call from a fellow officer in a neighboring town. This officer, having previously worked alongside Mike, recognized the car by its distinctive stickers and reported seeing it enter a garage. Jerry, determined to follow this lead, arrived at the address to find a mansion that seemed too lavish for someone who had been dismissed and unemployed for some time. Gathering his courage, Jerry rang the doorbell. And to his astonishment, Mike opened the door. Mike appeared to be thriving and was surprisingly overjoyed to see Jerry. Despite their limited interaction in the past, with an air of excitement, Mike exclaimed how relieved he was to finally be found. Raising questions in Jerry's mind, inside the opulent residence, Mike began to unravel the truth behind the peculiar incident involving the police doll in the tree. He revealed that it was a calculated attempt to draw attention hoping to connect with someone from the police force who genuinely cared about his whereabouts and well-being. Mike had lost faith in the higher-ups within the force but held out hope for a courageous individual officer. 
a role Jerry unwittingly fulfilled. Mike proceeded to disclose the true reason behind his dismissal from the force. While reorganizing documents one day, Mike stumbled upon hidden files containing damning evidence against a local millionaire. The discovery led to his immediate firing when the chief of police caught him photographing the documents. It became clear that the chief was deeply involved in a cover-up. Having been bribed by the millionaire to keep the incriminating evidence under wraps. Mike learned that day that not only was the chief complicit, but there was also an offer on the table for Mike himself to be paid off in exchange for his silence. This revelation set the stage for a complex narrative of corruption, betrayal, and a quest for justice. With Jerry now at the center of unraveling the truth and exposing the corruption that had infiltrated the very core of the police force, Jerry stumbled upon a peculiar and almost unbelievable tale. But his existing disdain for the corrupt police chief made it easier for him to get involved in efforts to remove him from his position. Despite the story's oddity, Jerry's motivation wasn't solely based on personal dislike. He was driven by a desire to see justice served within the ranks of the police force. He began by discreetly spreading the word about the chief's corrupt activities among the other senior officers. Through careful persuasion and gathering of evidence, Jerry and his colleagues managed to amass sufficient support to initiate the chief's dismissal. Jerry had initially joined the force with a simple desire to serve and protect. Never anticipating the dramatic turns his career would take. Mike, the one who had set the wheels in motion, was satisfied with the outcome. But neither he nor Jerry could have foreseen the subsequent developments. With the corrupt chief ousted, the department was left with a leadership vacuum that needed to be filled promptly. The qualities that Jerry exhibited during this challenging time, integrity, leadership, and a commitment to justice, did not go unnoticed by his peers. In a surprising but logical turn of events, they collectively recognized Jerry as the most suitable candidate to lead them forward. Thus, Jerry was propelled from being a whistleblower to holding the very position he helped vacate. This sequence of events, initiated by the unexpected discovery made by Zena, the former police dog, showcases the unpredictable nature of life. It's a testament to how actions rooted in honesty and a desire for justice can lead to unforeseen but positive changes. Jerry's story, culminating in his rise to police chief, illustrates the profound impact that standing up against corruption can have. Not just on an individual's career, but on the morale and direction of an entire police force. It's a reminder that sometimes, the world works in mysteriously serendipitous ways. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there is an another story about dog. Let's expect what will happen. Jesse and David shared a deep bond, their love solidified by years of companionship and shared dreams. When they made the decision to expand their family, it was a joyous moment for both of them. Welcoming their daughter into the world was a milestone they had eagerly anticipated. However, their happiness was soon overshadowed by an unexpected turn of events. Benji, their loyal canine companion, exhibited an unwavering devotion to the newborn. At first, they tried to gently coax Benji away from the baby, concerned about the potential risks. But to their astonishment, Benji's protective instincts only intensified, refusing to leave the baby's side and incessantly barking if separated. David, bewildered by Benji's behavior, embarked on a quest to uncover the truth behind the dog's unwavering vigilance. The revelation that followed left him reeling with disbelief. How could he, the baby's father, have remained oblivious to the underlying reality until now. The arrival of the police at their doorstep served as a jolting wake-up call, catapulting Jesse and David into a state of shock and apprehension. As they grappled with the gravity of the situation, they couldn't help but feel a profound sense of unease. The disturbing nature of the police's inquiry only compounded their distress. Highlighting the severity of the circumstances they found themselves in, it dawned on them with a chilling clarity that they had unwittingly placed their trust in the wrong individuals. 
unwittingly exposing themselves and their newborn to unforeseen dangers. The unsettling realization that such peril had been lurking in the shadows since Jesse's pregnancy sent shivers down their spines. Reflecting on the events leading up to this moment, Jesse and David retraced their steps, piecing together the fragments of their past with newfound clarity. They recalled the apprehension they had felt about Benji's reaction to the impending arrival of the baby, hoping against hope that their fears would prove unfounded. Jessie's heart sank when she remembered the day Benji had barked at her belly. A seemingly innocuous gesture that now carried ominous implications. Her decision to take Benji to the veterinarian, driven by a mix of concern and uncertainty, had unwittingly set off a chain of events that would forever alter their lives. As they grappled with the weight of their predicament, Jessie reached out to her trusted friend, Anne seeking solace and support in her hour of need. Anne's unwavering presence and steadfast support served as a lifeline for Jessie, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the turmoil. Together, they navigated the uncertain terrain of parenthood, confronting the daunting prospect of having to make heart-wrenching decisions that would irrevocably shape their future. Amidst the chaos and confusion, Jessie found solace in the knowledge that she was not alone. Buoyed by the unwavering support of her loved ones and the enduring bond she shared with Benji. A few weeks passed. And Jesse and David welcomed their healthy baby girl. Lily. Into the world. Despite the joyous occasion. Benji's behavior remained erratic. Casting a shadow of unease over the household. In the initial weeks of Lily's life. Jesse and David devoted themselves entirely to caring for her relishing the precious moments of parenthood. When Lily settled into her routine, Benji's vigilance gradually subsided, allowing the new parents to breathe a sigh of relief. However, their peace was short-lived when they received a troubling call from their babysitter. She informed them that Benji adamantly refused to let Lily sleep alone, raising concerns about the dog's behavior. Perplexed by Benji's continued agitation, David decided to seek advice from the veterinarian once more. However, the vet's words only served to deepen David's apprehension, hinting at the possibility that they themselves might be the cause of Benji's distress. David's anxiety intensified as he grappled with the unsettling implications of the vet's words. Each time he attempted to put Lily to bed, Benji would promptly appear at her side, fueling David's growing sense of unease. However, a pivotal moment occurred when Anne, their friend, reported a concerning incident involving Benji. Her revelation sparked a realization in David, connecting the dots between Benji's behavior and Anne's presence. While David shared his suspicions with Jesse, tensions mounted within the household. Jesse, initially dismissive of David's concerns, urged him to consider alternative explanations for Benji's behavior. However, David's resolve remained unwavering, prompting him to take proactive measures to uncover the truth. The decision to install security cameras was met with mixed reactions, particularly from Anne, whose discomfort did not escape David's notice. With the footage under scrutiny, David scrutinized Benji's interactions with Lily and Anne, searching for clues to unravel the mystery. His suspicions grew when he observed Benji's unwavering protectiveness towards Lily and the dog's wariness of Anne. Convinced that Anne held the key to unlocking the truth, David confronted her, unleashing a torrent of accusations. Anne's defensive reaction only served to fuel David's suspicions, leading to a heated exchange that strained the bond between Jesse and David. Caught in the crossfire, Jesse grappled with conflicting loyalties torn between her partner and her best friend. As tensions simmered within the household, Jessie found herself caught in the middle of a brewing storm, grappling with the unsettling possibility that someone she trusted could be harboring dark secrets. In that pivotal moment, David's mind raced as he replayed Anne's words in his head, realizing she inadvertently provided the crucial clue he needed. It struck him that he had never reviewed the nighttime footage prompting him to take immediate action. 
as he accessed the surveillance footage. Dread washed over him when he discovered that all the nighttime recordings had been inexplicably deleted. Determined to unearth the truth, David made encrypted backups of the footage, methodically scrutinizing each day's recordings for any anomalies. The next day, as David meticulously reviewed the footage, his worst fears were realized. A chilling sight greeted him as he witnessed someone clandestinely climbing through the window into Lily's room. Shock and disbelief gripped him as he watched the intruder's movements unfold before his eyes, realizing the gravity of the situation. David wasted no time in contacting the authorities. Frantically, he called Jessie, urging her to return home immediately. With the sound of sirens piercing the air, tension hung thick in the atmosphere as David and Jessie awaited the arrival of the police. When Jessie arrived, David wasted no time in showing her the damning footage. The weight of the revelation hitting them like a sledgehammer. As they grappled with the harrowing truth, the police officers arrived. Their presence offering a glimmer of hope amidst the chaos. Examining the footage, the officers were astounded by Benji's unwavering vigilance and her instinctual response to the intruder's presence. Swiftly, they sprang into action launching a search for Ann Anderson, the woman at the center of the mystery. However, their efforts yielded a startling discovery, and Anderson did not exist. In a cruel twist of fate, Jessie's longtime friend had fabricated her identity, concealing her true identity as an international spy wanted for espionage in multiple countries. The revelation shattered Jessie's world, leaving her reeling from the betrayal of someone she had considered a close friend for over a decade. As the police delved deeper into the investigation, they uncovered a hidden compartment within the wall, concealing a safe containing incriminating evidence. With Benji steadfastly by Lily's side, the police worked tirelessly to crack open the safe, revealing a trove of illicit goods, money, jewelry, documents, and passports. Amidst the chaos, one passport bore a familiar name, Jesse gasped, the startling realization dawning on everyone present. Anne's true identity as a spy had been unmasked. Her sinister intentions exposed thanks to Benji's unwavering loyalty and instinctual protection of Lily. In a dramatic turn of events, justice prevailed, and the spy's nefarious schemes were thwarted bringing closure to a tumultuous chapter in Jesse and David's lives.